Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. So we're cooking tonight, it's Friday night. We've got a couple of things going on in our kitchen and we thought that we would bring you along with us as we cook. So it's the Friday before the first day of school and we are getting ready to head back to school. So I've got to do a couple of meals to kind of get us moving in the right direction. Sometimes I'm not the quickest in the morning, although I am a morning person. I struggle with doing a lot of meal prep because I enjoy cooking. Cooking for me is, um, I get a payoff from what I'm doing. So cooking it ahead of time doesn't necessarily give me that payoff that I'm looking for every day. But um, when you work and you have to be at work early, you've got to kind of do some things to help you along. So I thought I'd bring you along into my kitchen and show you what I'm doing. So I've got two crock pots out. I'm doing two crock pot meals. Am I doing two crock pot meals? I think I'm doing two crock pot meals. At least I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do a chicken chili and I'm going to do a breakfast casserole. So two things, Weight Watcher friendly and I'm gonna bring you along. I'm also gonna be doing a three ingredient banana bread and um, homemade corn dogs or partially homemade corn dogs. So let me tell you what I've got going in here. I'm gonna turn this down just a hair. I've got this Pick Sweet Seasoning Blend. I buy this at Aldi. This is onions, celery, red and green peppers. So I just pull this out, spray pan my wok, threw it in, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Mrs. Dash, season it to your own tasting. To this, I'm gonna add in, you saw me add in, one Canadian bacon, that's because my other bacon is frozen, we're trying to throw out some, and then six ounces of a tomato basil chicken breast strips. So we've got that already going, not the hot dog. Go back over there. So I put my chicken breast strips in, and what I'm gonna do with this mixture, this veggies, is I'm gonna separate this into two pots. I'm gonna separate it half into the chili and half into the um, breakfast casserole. To this, I'm gonna add in some fresh spinach, fresh spinach, and I'm also gonna add in some kale. A lot of people think I'm strange when I add kale into things, but kale wilts. It's just like spinach, although it's a little bit more hearty, so it can stand a lot more cooking than spinach can. So I'm gonna add in a couple handfuls, cause this is gonna cook down really quickly, of the spinach, way more than the kale. And then I'm gonna add in just a couple of cups or handfuls of the kale. This is already chopped, pre-washed kale. And it looks like it's a lot now, but it's going to wilt down. And it's very good for digestion. It's very good for weight loss. So if you've been following me to date, I've lost 42 pounds. And I'm thinking about another 42 pounds. At least that's my goal. <laughs> so I'm going to give this a quick stir. And then I'm going to leave it so I can do something else. So I'm doing three things. And I'm probably gonna give a little bit more salt because I only put enough salt in to uh, season the veggies that I had ahead of time. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more salt, give that a little bit more of a spray. You can add in olive oil if you do olive oil. I have not been doing olive oil since I joined Weight Watchers. So happy Friday, y'all. I'm so glad it's Friday. I'm actually gonna be working on Sunday because I did not finish in my classroom today, but I'm tired. It has been a long week. We've had meetings all week. We've been preparing for the kids to come back. And you know, you just gotta get back into that rhythm after you've been out of school for a while. So that's already cooking down. Hand me the salt. My handy dandy helper is gonna hand me the salt and then I'm gonna move on to something else. That's two eighths of a teaspoon. 
and I'm just gonna let that go. So that's cooking in the wok, no problem. Now, I'm gonna move over and do my mini corn dogs. So I'm gonna use Jiffy, just a regular thing of Jiffy. One box, I'm only gonna do, well I'm gonna do two, two boxes because I wanna make some of these ahead to have. I did not put this in Recipe Builder just yet, but I will tell you how much points there are. Make sure I get everything out of that. Okay. So that's one box. If you want to make your own homemade Jiffy, you can. I do stuff semi-homemade around here because I don't have a lot of time. Two boxes. To that, I'm going to add two eggs. My classroom is together. I'm just not, um, I don't have all of my syllabus and stuff copied. I have it all ready, but it's not copied. And then I'm just going to add in some milk. Just combine, combine, combine. about two-thirds cup of milk you can use lactose free milk you can use skim milk you can use fat free milk 1% milk will you add some sugar to the corn no I will not add any additional sugar what's here is here specifically because I'm doing Weight Watchers and I try to keep things as low points as possible so I'm not gonna add a lot more things Jackson will you bring a trash Trash can, please. Okay, so that batter is done. Can't find the tablespoon, but I'll use this. Thank you, lovely. Best thing I've been able to find is to clean, clean as you go, and then you're not trying to, um, Clean up after. Did I drop one more? Oh man, really? How you gonna eat it if you drop it? I don't know. So what I'm finding is that my kale is wilting down just as much as my spinach. I've got my chicken in here. I've got some Canadian bacon in here. I'm gonna be adding in the eggs and the milk. And I'm gonna be adding in some fat-free cheddar cheese. And that's going to keep it really low for smart points. Okay, still letting that cook. Move a few things out of my way. This is the one thing about my kitchen. It's very small, so having a lot of stuff in one area tends to bother my life. But y'all pray for me. Jack, I'm done with the spinach. I'm done with the kale. I'm done with the chicken. Got to enlist the kitchen helpers because I cannot work in chaos. I'm done with this. Your bag. You need that. For the chicken. All right, we're cooking with grease. Not literally, y'all. Uh oh. So I, I do not use grease. I've lined a muffin tin with paper liner because I don't want to have any cleanup after. And I lost a few, so I'm going to put a few back in. Very simple. If you have kids, your kids can help with this part. I'm going to put just a hair more milk in there. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of the Jiffy Mix. I'm also adding carrots into the chili black beans or kidney beans. I'm going to also do petite uh, tomatoes. And so the premise behind what I'm cooking tonight are meals that I can pack in my lunch box or that I can pack in the kids' lunch boxes or breakfasts that we can cook ahead and then um, store in containers. I'm going to be doing some make-ahead salads in the jar tomorrow. 
or maybe Sunday, but probably tomorrow. I'm also going to be doing some flatbread uh, wraps. And this will make mm, not quite two more, not quite another set of these, but it'll make some more. And then to each of these cups, you're adding in one. This is probably a fourth of a hot dog. I've got my oven heated, preheated to 350. And if you have leftover hot dogs, you can always throw them in the freezer for the next batch. Corn muffin is going to cook up over it, and you'll have a mini corn dog. I did use um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, so that'll give it a little bit more uh, sweetness to it, Michael. Mm -hmm. So, 350 degree oven, this is going in. That meal is done. Extra dogs in a bowl. Not you. Goodbye, the end. Goodbye, the end. She heard extra dogs and thought I was talking about her. Negative. All righty then. So that's done. Extra dogs. I'll put a top on this and throw it in the freezer. Okay, let's finish up our breakfast casserole. So if you can see, that cooked down a whole, whole lot. So I'm going to divide this into twos or in half. So I'm dividing this in half. Half of the chili, half for the breakfast casserole. So I've got my slow cooker going. This is going to cook overnight because it's, what, 816. So it'll cook for about six hours on low. Yes, I have it on low. I pre-sprayed to my bowl, I'm going to add in 12 eggs, so one dozen eggs, in this one so I'm just going to use these as well. So that's 14 whole eggs. If you want to fluff this up a little you can add egg whites if you're specifically watching your points. Goodbye ma'am. No, goodbye. You can use egg whites. The Fit and Active brand at Aldi count as zero smart points for just about the whole container. The whole container actually counts as one, but you can have everything until the very last tablespoon, and then it makes it one smart point. I'm doing one cup of milk, two cups of the fat-free cheddar cheese. Now, a lot of people ask me, what do I think about the cheese? I like it. it I like cheese, so I think that I don't think it doesn't taste like anything just so I can have it and I'd rather not have the smart points. So I'm gonna do one cup. They also make this in mozzarella, but I've only been able to find it at Walmart. And that's right at two cups. It does melt. It does melt. I have not had any problems with it melting. Cutting this off, because I'm done with that. So I'm gonna stir my eggs milk and cheese just to bust my yolks and then season to taste whatever you like and again it's you up to you so I'm doing see this is garlic powder a little Mrs. Dash this is just a table blend because it has the black pepper in it doing a little bit of onion powder, although I do have onions in here. A few minced onions. And then stir. I pre-sprayed my pan. And I'm going to add in just well, I'm going to add this to my pot, to my crock pot, this mixture.
just half. And I mean, that wilted down a lot. You can use any meat you want. I was gonna do some turkey, but my um, the turkey that I pulled out didn't smell right, so I just tossed that. I don't want to use it if it's not right. And then I had some more, but it was frozen, so I didn't have time. I'm adding in one um, package of the Simply Potatoes, the shredded hash browns. You can use uh, the O'Brien potatoes that already have the onions and peppers in it if you don't want to do this step. Again, I like the payoff from cooking, so I don't mind. Thing into my trash can. And then I'm going to add in my egg mixture. Stir, stir, stir to get everything incorporated. Cover six hours, six to eight hours on low. That'll be done when we wake up in the morning. I'm usually up about 5.30 or so, 6 o'clock. We have to leave early for a tournament in the morning. So this will be done. The next thing I'm going to do is work on my chili crock pot on low. I've sprayed it with the nonstick cooking spray. To this, I'm going to add in the rest of my mixture, my onions, my peppers, my celery, my kale, and my spinach, and my chicken. I'm going to add in some carrots. Thank you, lovely. Why carrots? Because it's a root vegetable. Zero smart points. Free, free, free. And it is a filler. Carrots go in. So I'm going to add in some tomato sauce. Just one cup of tomato sauce. We'll save the rest, put it in a container. I'm going to add in petite diced tomatoes. This is zero smart points. The tomato sauce is zero smart points. Whole can, undrained. Then I'm adding in one can of dark red kidney beans, undrained. I'm gonna do one can of water and my seasoning packet, can of water, one chili seasoning packet, cover, and done. So I've got two meals. Breakfast casserole, chili. In the oven, I've got uh, mini corn dog muffins. I'm gonna clean up and make the last thing that I'm gonna be making tonight. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a very simple and easy banana bread. Now my family loves banana bread, but it is not the best on smart points. Grab it's not the best on smart points. So I was watching a girl today um, on YouTube and she showed me the best way I've seen it and most simple and I'm gonna do it her way. So I'm using three ripe bananas. So I'm just gonna mash these using my fork. Now if you have issues with your sugar or like me, issues with your weight um, and you're trying to do Weight Watcher Smart Points, which is what I'm doing, I'm having to try to make adjustments. I wanna still have the sweets because I do like them but I have to adjust so that my body can uh, not retain all of the, the weight. So I'm using two small and one medium banana. Now her recipe called for a vanilla cake mix. They do not make vanilla sugar free. So I got yellow. And I'm just gonna add in some vanilla and I'm gonna add in some cinnamon. So these ingredients she did not add. She said you could use a spice cake if you wanted to, um, but they don't make that in the sugar-free either. So I'm using what they make in what I can have. No eggs, no milk, nothing. So I'm using a little bit of cinnamon. That's a lot of bit of cinnamon, don't, don't worry about that. And a splash of vanilla, just a splash. Don't worry about that either. I need two eggs, sister. 
I'm using the sugar-free um, Pillsbury makes this sugar-free plastic yellow cake mix. If you're using frozen bananas, you can um, take the skins off and throw them in the microwave for a few. So I'm just stirring up these two items and I'm going to add the last items, which are two eggs. This should be really low in smart points if I do 12 slices. My son is coming home tomorrow, so notice I had to buy two of these. And we're doing two eggs. That's all we're doing. Three, but three ripe bananas, one sugar-free cake mix, and two eggs. Stir everything to incorporate. And it's a little chunky because I've got the um, bananas in here. I added in a little bit of cinnamon. I'm going to add just a little bit more. You could add in anything you like. When, before I started doing Weight Watchers, I would add in like cranberries and chocolate chips. We're out of mini chocolate chips, so the kids say we are. Or I would add in a few, maybe like a quarter of a cup. But that's all we're doing to that. My loaf pan has been sprayed. Grab my rubber spatula. And just pour in. It smells really good. And if you don't want to do a big one, no ma'am, goodbye the end. Goodbye. Out. I have a open concept kitchen. So no baby gate will keep the baby out. Will it, mama? No ma'am. And she knows when I'm cooking because she just like the children. Always up in here. Till it's time to do the dishes and everybody just fly. Fly the coop. Everybody gone. I'm gonna swap corn dogs and my banana bread. Those are done. So those are my mini corn dog muffins. I'm gonna put my banana bread in. That's 350 for 45 minutes. And I do want to set the timer just because I don't want to overcook or undercook that. So that's going for 45 minutes. We're going to clean a few things. I put these in muffin wrappers, right? Should have sprayed the wrapper. It's hot and it's done. And the inside of this You've got your hot dog. So the kids would eat this, of course, with their ketchup or honey mustard or whatever they like. But I would serve it, you know, like that. And then they would either cut it apart or bite it apart. And that's what one would look like. So... We're going to keep cooking. I will bring you back when my um, banana bread is done and let you see what that looks like. Uh, the chili, I'm not real sure if you can see what that looks like. I'm just going to stir around that seasoning to make sure that every piece of veggie, bean, whatever, get some of that chili seasoning mix. And then the breakfast casserole is ready to roll. Let me see if I can just let you see what things look like. I'm going to take you around my kitchen. So there's the breakfast casserole. Everything's all incorporated. And then there is the chili. And everything is incorporated there. So that's a chicken chili. Not a white chicken, but it's still chicken. Then I've got my corn muffins, which you all saw right there. That's the corn muffins for the kids. And then in the stove, I've got the banana bread. 
So we're cooking around here. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. We'll bring you back when the banana bread is done in about 40 minutes. So thank you so much for joining us and until then, bye. Hey everybody, welcome back. So it's been about an hour since I did the uh, put the banana bread into the oven and it did have to cook. After about 45 minutes, I did check it and it was not done all the way in the center. So I put it back in for another 15 minutes. I think my temperature was too low. I only had it on 350 instead of 400 or at least 375. It would have taken a little bit shorter time to cook. And then I added in that fourth banana because two of my bananas were really small. So this is what the banana bread looks like coming out of the oven. It is hot. I mean, this I just pulled that out. But it looks amazing. Remember, we use a sugar-free cake mix, three medium uh, bananas, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of, bit of vanilla, and two eggs. So very simple recipe. And uh, one of the kids is going to try this. Um, which one of your kids is coming to try this? So I put this in my recipe builder in the iTrack Bites app if you're doing Weight Washers. And I... Uh, made this into 12 servings so we're going to have to cut this into 12 servings and for 12 servings it is 4 smart points a piece so we're going to see if we can't cut this into small and that might get us more than 12 the more servings the less points Anybody want to get the whipped cream? Y'all want whipped cream? Mm -hmm. They are non-whipped cream people. They need to pray about it. I'm a whipped cream person. It's they just need to too fuzzy. pray about Alright, so that's what it looks like. We just took a small little slice out of there. And this is what we have. This is what it looks like. Oh, Lord. Okay, wait. Y'all both can t taste it. And then we'll turn it over. This is what it looks like cooked on the inside. And four smart points if we get 12 servings. I think we'll be able to get more than 12 servings. So I use one of the sugar-free uh, classic vanilla cake mix, three but right, but overripe bananas, a little bit of cinnamon. You can see the cinnamon in there. Splash of vanilla and two eggs. I baked it for about four. 55 minutes so I'm gonna let the kids taste it and they'll tell you what they think no I'm cutting it in two pieces and don't fight they're fighting oh my word these children so what do you think what do y'all think well it's great to decide no, Gracie doesn't get any cake. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think? No, you cannot give the dog cake. The end. A tiny little My little child little does not little have little any little clothes on. A tiny piece, Mom. No. A teensy piece. There's no. never any chocolate in it. And here are the other things that I cooked. If you missed my earlier video, I did. Um, this is egg casserole that's going to cook overnight. So this yeah. started about 8.15. It's been in the crock pot for about an hour. That is chicken, onions, peppers, um, celery, spinach, kale, eggs, and milk, and cheese, fat-free cheese. So that's going overnight. That'll be ready in the morning. I did mini corn dogs for the kids. So you can see the hot dog inside there. We baked those. And then we're doing a classic crock pot chili. And that's going to be ready in the morning as well. So I'm letting things cook overnight because the kids and I have to be out of the house very early in the morning. So they're going to enjoy the um, breakfast casserole. They will enjoy a couple more slices of the banana bread. My son likes this when he comes home. I did not have many chocolate chips. That would have been excellent. But if you like salted caramel, if you take sugar-free caramel sauce and put it drizzle it over this and sprinkle a little bit or crack some um, pink Himalayan sea salt over it with a little bit of um, fat free cool whip you're still going to have a five well, it'll be five points if you add the caramel just one tablespoon but anyway thank you so much for joining us that is what we are 
working on tonight. We are going to let our crock pots go and um, they'll be ready in the morning. So thank you so much for joining us. Bye.